Tip five is to always be aware of the problems that you can help to fix for your particular buyer. You can use these, these uh, common pain points when you're on the phone and your emails. It's a great place to go when maybe a call, let's say a prospect just doesn't understand how you, what you're talking about or how you can help, or you could use your pain points that you fix as your elevator pitch. You could use them as a last resort. So sometimes if you've ended up on a call and you've asked some questions and it's just not going anywhere, you could just say to them, hey, listen, all right, it sounds like you're doing pretty good over there, but uh, th these are three things that people like you often struggle with. And so do you have challenges with this, this, or this? And they might, and if they say no, 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 then you can say, okay, well, you, you know, I tell you what, I'm gonna let you get back to it. So what you wanna do is you wanna develop your optimum list of pain points for each buyer. And uh, again, Sales Scripter, you know, like I told you Sales Scripter is gonna take you through those four steps. Well, uh, of, and step three of building out your questions is to identify the, the, the pain points that you fix. So Sales Scripter is gonna take you through that.